Welcome viewers, lots of creatures down there trying to kill me, but that's not too important right now. There's a couple things I wanted to go over. Yesterday might have been a little confusing to you guys, because I was talking about a 7.1 episode a lot right in the beginning, and that never actually did get uploaded. Now the reason for that was because I was so tired, I did actually sleep for about 3 hours or so in the middle of that episode, and it honestly just was even more boring than I thought it would be. Like, even though it was a mining episode, which is inherently boring in my opinion, it did make it even worse when I couldn't even, yeah, I couldn't even function. That's the word I'm looking, ah, looking for. So that isn't up. And then in that episode, I talked about a secret that I let loose in that episode. So you didn't actually get to hear it. So that probably is something that might be bothering you guys. So I will say that very soon an update video will be out and it will be telling everyone what actually has happened or is happening at the moment. So that should be rather interesting. It'll probably be out the same day that this episode out is out. Pre-recording makes things a bit complicated because by the time this gets uploaded I would have made that video and can up... Yeah, it'll be out today. <laughs> uh, Pre-recording. So this is episode 9. Tomorrow I will release my world so I better move out today. And also, I want to be able to do an adventure episode tomorrow, which will be me heading into one of these battle towers, or maybe two if they turn out to be easier than I'm expecting, but I think it's going to be terribly difficult. Look how many floors there are. Each one has monster spawners. They get more difficult as you go up. Ah, oh, it's going to be terrible. And there's a boss on top, so I also have to make sure I have the resources necessary to actually take it on, which, from a little practice run I did, <laughs> I'm not going to be ready in time. It's going to be a death-filled episode, that's for sure. But anyway, that's all for my little bit of an intro there. I might as well get on with what I'm doing today, which is, of course, moving out. Let's see here. Just going to keep doing other stuff in the meantime, of course, though. Now, I've already got, if you're watching yesterday's episode, got the mansion blueprint and the staircase. So I am just going to show you where I found I will be moving to. I'm going to turn on cheat mode for this because it is quite a distance away and there's no real reason that you should watch me trek over the land trying to find it. Actually it isn't that far away now that I think about it, it's just about one map's distance. We'll probably just go off the map my old house before, there we are, we're nearly here. So my new residence will have a private pool and I'll be building it right next to this eldritch tree? That could be right. There's two here, one in each chunk, here, here, and another one over here. So this area is going to be full of aura, which is a great place to live, so I'm not too bothered about moving out anymore. And I'll be placing the house roughly in this chunk here, and extending out a little bit because my house is a little bit more than a chunk, so it'll go into these areas. Each area is next to a chunk with an eldritch tree, so the aura should maintain pretty high. And my mine will be out on this side, in this area here. That will be the freefall mine that I'll be recreating. And then once I have the resources, I can put my quarries around that. Or perhaps further out into the ocean, but I wouldn't really want to do that because there'll be tons of sand. And... Well, actually no, I might want to do that. <laughs> okay, I'll head back to the house now. Oh yes, another update I should talk about. I've been thinking about investing in a... HDMI PC capture card. It's what people tend to use when they want to record 1080p videos from the Xbox or PlayStation, but I found a way to make it work for PC, which is a little bit complicated and convoluted. What am I doing? Am I just destroying blocks? I'm not even getting them back. I'm in creative. Ah, I thought this was an update video because I'm flying around. It's what I usually do. Turn that off. Turn off cheat mode. Set it back to utility. All right. Now... Back to what I was saying. So I'm thinking about getting one of those capture cards. What that means is I'll be running Minecraft at, instead of the recording speed, which slows down everything to about a quarter, I'll be running it at, say, 160 frames a second. And why I'm saying this is because, oh dear, is because that means that I might be able to use the Unbelievable Shaders mod without any kind of slowdown. So my series might start looking amazing once again. It is one of my favorite mods, but it does use so much rendering power that it does get very difficult once you've got a lot of items flowing through the air and all that kind of stuff. Which also means I'll be changing my textures so the shadows will look cool once again. But anyway, I think that's enough about talking about updates. 
let's head on with the episode. Okay, so one of the first things I need to do is take out my alchemy bag, take out my builder, my quarry. Wait, what am I doing? No, I need to move, which means destroying my entire house. <laughs> That's right. But I wonder if I do actually have the space in my alchemy bag to carry everything with me. That might be the major problem here. I guess if I only take what's important, it might not be that bad. I really have to stop putting my alchemy bag inside itself. I'm going to get in a lot of trouble with you guys if I keep on having to cheat the item back into my inventory. Now, I've been looking through all my chests, and really there's no space, and there's too much valuable stuff to really leave behind. So, what I am going to do is make another alchemy bag. All I'll do is take out, say, this rose here, turn this into some red dye, and then make a new alchemical chest. So I should have some stone and all that other stuff I need already in these chests here. Well, it turned out I had everything except for iron, but that's not a problem, seeing as I just did turn a whole heap of ore into some dust. Oh, it is kind of a problem. I forgot that the creeper blew up my transmutation tablet last episode, so I am actually going to have to smelt these down instead of just transmuting them. Which isn't too much trouble, or at least it wouldn't be if I wasn't running so desperately short on coal. I only have about five pieces left since I'm using most of it in that generator over there. So let's see. I'll just smelt these now. Okay, once I get two of them, I'll be ready. Everything I need here, I believe that's it. Just making sure. All right, that'll do the trick. There's my crafting tape right next to it, oh, of course. Overlay the recipe, even though I did just check. My memory is shot. Okay, all the different covalence dust. Is that the right order? Now it is. Diamond and then regular stone. Now I've got the alchemical chest. Now unfortunately I am running a little bit short on wool. I actually need five of the same color and I only have four. But I do have quite a bit of string. I believe I have some more here. Hopefully that's enough to actually make what I need. So let's see here. How do you make wool out of string? Never done it before. Okay. So I just need five of this. There we are. Now all I'll do is craft these together with my covalence dust, which I don't know why I put away somewhere. Okay, here's the rest of it. Now craft this up. Regular wool, or I can use dyed ones. Alchemical chest and the three high covalence dust. Give me the regular color alchemy bag again, which I can then dye to make it ruby red. Now I have two alchemical bags worth of inventory space, so now I should be able to take my house along with me rather easily. Let's see here. Oi, work, thank you. What the? Blazes? Where did I put all the rest of the stuff? I am very confused again. So nothing really new. Just like I've done in earlier series when I did need to move. Actually, I wonder, I might just still run out. But then again, I don't really need to take dirt with me. Oh no, I seem to just have the inventory space. Just barely. Okay, I've ended up using a bit more better judgement here and I am just throwing away all the dirt. Mainly because I might run into some problems. See, I'm going to have to destroy my house so I can actually have enough marble to rebuild it. And I'm going to need inventory space for all that stuff, so... Because of that, I had to say goodbye to all that really valuable dirt. You know what, this is a nice time to go over how to find items if you've got massive inventories like me right now. If you double click this in Not Enough Items, you can actually bring up this yellow box, which when you type in, doesn't just bring up recipes, but searches through your own inventory. So now, you see that everything's blacked out because it doesn't have WRE in it. Now if I open up my inventory, I can see, okay, there's definitely no wrench in here. Open up the red one, and it's highlighted, making it really easy to find. Now I can use that to pick up these old items. Oops, two clicks on the bat box. And did they all go back? Macerator, generator, bat box, wonderful. None of the items actually broke. Now I'm just going to slowly but surely destroy my entire house. 
This might take a little bit of time, so I will skip ahead till I am nearly done. Wait a second, what in the world am I thinking? I've got an item that will do this for me. This is really where that filler will come in handy. Once I can find it, that is. Let's see here, I'm sure it's in my inventory somewhere. Oh, it's actually right in my inventory. That makes sense. Now, where are my land plots, landmarks? There we are. So yes, I'll just use this filler to destroy my house. Oh god, I forgot there was a creeper down here. And smack in the face. No, 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 no. You're so dead. No, damn it, zombie, get out of the way. Ah, thank you, thank you. Whew, that went better than expected, I suppose. Now let's just look at the shape of my house. I don't want anything to go really wrong. I'm sure it will be fine. It's okay to lose a few materials. And it's also alright to destroy some of the forest since it doesn't really matter anymore. So I can jump down here and set up my land plot for the entire area of my house. So let's see, just in line up this here. Until I reach this block right here. Okay, I'll just set up the rest now. Also, this might be a good time to go over why I used to, and still probably will occasionally, use this to power the actual landmark. You don't have to do it, you can just right click when you're ready, but if you're not- Hey, what's going on? Hello? Oh, hunger, right. <laughs> so as I was saying, you don't have to, but if you do, you can make sure that all your landmarks actually do line up, because it'll shoot off a laser, which you can just follow and make sure it is. Make sure that everything is in order. Anyway, why can't I find any food right now? Nothing better come up and murder me. Come on, I must have apples or... something. Great. All I could find was one apple and some rotten flesh. This is not going to go too well. Now, let's see. All I need is some building blocks. Some dirt will do the trick. Oh, darn it. Go away, tree. Now, this just has to go all the way up to the top of my house. Is that? That looks too high. Ah, see now, this is a great time to test out if it is actually in line. So I'll put down my blue here, and put down the red, and we can see there it is perfectly in line, although I do want it to go up one higher, so we can get in that dirt as well. So I'll just destroy you, I'll go pick you up later, maybe, <laughs> I'll probably forget. So there we go, that is in line, perfect. Now, I'll survive. <laughs> Now to set up the last landmark. Oh wow, well, I actually did pick up the landmark for once. Wonderful. Oh, zombie flesh. It's the only food I got. Alright, there we go. I believe that's the most I'm going to get. No real point going further than that. This should do the trick nicely. Now I'll just right click it, not forgetting for once. Put down my filler. And it should all change to stripes. Now I'll just put in the glass recipe so it just destroys blocks instead of actually building anything. There we go. Now all I need to do is power it. The more power I give it, the faster this is going to go. So I'm going to set up quite a lot of those redstone engines that I made in the last episode. Where are they? They should be 32 or so somewhere. Actually, they might be up to 40 considering the other 8. Where have I put it? There's the 8 and where's the rest? There we are. I love this search function. I always knew about it, but I never really used it. Now that I've got two alchemical chests, I can't really avoid it. Actually, it's becoming night time, and I'm going to have to stay under my house to pick up all the items that drop. So I will just go to sleep one last time. Well, that's kind of lucky. I guess I wasn't so short on coal after all. Still slowly running out, but I had more than three. Now I'll just set these up. Four in a line. I believe you can actually use more than four when you're using a filler. Because before, those engines weren't even coming close to actually overheating. But still, four is really the number I prefer to use as often as possible. Because nothing usually overloads, even on quarries and such, it's usually fine. Now, of course, I'm not going to put it off in this direction, or the filler will actually destroy the engines itself. But I will also go underground. Where's my shovel? There we are. Go away. Ah, no, what? You've got to be kidding me. Ah, <sighs> whenever I'm doing something important. Of course. 
Let's just fix this up. I wonder if I lost some steam engines from that. Probably. Yep, certainly seems like it. Oh well, not too worried considering how many I had. But still is quite a pain, damn creepers. <sighs> now, four engines again. I'll put my redstone just like so. Also, I might as well start these up now because of, well, damn, inventory space. Put everything away, and then just the coal. Thank you. That should do the trick, all split up nicely. I'll just put eight coal in each. Just like so. Now if we can just get out of here and put coal in all the rest, I won't have any kind of problem. Also, time to set up my redstone. Here we are. Running a little bit short, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Ah, darn it. There we go. All of it now has power. And now all of it will begin working. This should destroy my house incredibly quickly, considering how many engines we've got. Got a good what? 16? Yep, 16. Especially once it heats up. This will be going incredibly quick. That's if it even has time to heat up. It might finish the job before then. There we go. Hopefully we don't get any kind of overloads. I've never actually used this many engines at once. I've never really had to. Nothing trying to kill me. Whoa, whoa, everything trying to kill me. Of course. Come on, <laughs> full damage to a spider. Running, running hit. <laughs> oh, what? There's still more? Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. So how's this filler going? What's it working on now? As we know from yesterday, or maybe the day before, they do work from the bottom up. So I can't actually see it destroying anything just yet. But it certainly should be. Any time now. Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go. There goes the floor. How fast is that destroying? I'm going to head down and check. Oh wow, the floor is nearly gone already. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, you're gone too. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Juggling, it's like Street Fighter. <laughs> it's just raining blocks. Whoa, too many items. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, I can't believe I'm not lagging from all this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah oh, well, I can use your strings, I'm not too worried about spiders. They don't usually cause you any kind of trouble. Although I better eat some food before I die. And before I look incredibly stupid for dying to spiders after I just insulted them. Hey spider, what you doing? What you doing? Dying. That's what you're doing. And now the walls are disappearing? No? Not yet? There we go. <laughs> I better be ready to turn off those engines. I'm not going to have another explosion on my hands. Not after what happened to my builder. <laughs> oh, I've never used fillers before. This is amazing. Well, apart from the time I used fillers in this series. But yeah, if I knew they were this powerful, I would have been using them much more often. I just thought they were an inferior version of the quarry or the builder, and yeah, never really looked into them very much. Oh my gosh, this is insane. How's my inventory going? Okay, a little bit of a problem. There we go. Unfortunately, the glass won't drop down. It will just be destroyed, as if you did mine it yourself. So I will have to probably make more glass for my building, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Once I move to my new spot, I can just set down some furnaces and be smelting all that glass, while it builds the rest of the building out of marble. So yeah, not too worried. <laughs> this is insane. Nearly done? Okay, nearly up to the roof. And it does speed up. This isn't even at full capacity, of course, because those engines still are nowhere near at full speed. Oh my gosh. Didn't realize I put so many blocks into building this house. I'm not looking forward to when I try and just destroy, say, the entire skyscraper. And then have to pick up all those blocks. All the rubble. Okay, definitely using 
explosives on the skyscraper if I get up to that stage. Okay, better get ready to actually depower it. But would you look at that? It's only flashing green. It's not even solid yet. So it's nowhere near full power. I'd say maybe half, if that. Okay, come on house, just disappear. Oh wait, there still is the dirt level. Ah. I'm not going down there just for the few blocks that did drop. But yeah, I, I'm not too worried. I could probably even leave that go for a little bit once it's done. 